Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepi at gmail.com. This video is a iBridgePi tutorials, which is about config iBridge trade station, TWS, and IB gateway. In this tutorial, I will talk about download IB trade station TWS, download IB gateway, and then we will compare TWS and IB gateway. Then we will show you how to config TWS for iBridgePy and how to config IB gateway for iBridgePy. So first, let's go to this link. This is the official website of Interactive Brokers. To download TWS for Windows users, you can click Download TWS Latest 64-bit. You can save it anywhere and install it, uh, except the default settings. This demo, I will just keep cancel. The next is to download IB Gateway by going to this website. This is the official website of Interactive Brokers. And to download IB Gateway for Windows, you can click Download. Same thing. I won't. Actually, there's a, a demo what's going on when you install it. In this demo, I just click Cancel because I have already installed TWS and IB Gateway to my computer. The difference between TWS and IB Gateway. TWS is a traditional uh, trading platform full of information. When we open it up, you will find out it has a lot of information. And IB Gateway is a lightweight alternative to get connected to IB server. To use iBridgePy, you can choose either TWS or IB Gateway. The main difference with respect to iBridgePy automated trading is TWS is forced to shut down every day at 11.30 p.m. Or you can configure it to shut down at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, but you are forced to shut down TWS every day. On the other side, IB Gateway will not shut down every day, so that if you want to run your strategies, trading strategies continuously, you need to choose IB Gateway. IB Gateway is proved to be stable connection to IB server. So for automated trading, fully automated trading, and you want to run it continuously, please use IB Gateway. Then I will talk about how to config TWS first. Let's go to TWS. This is a trader workstation. So username, and the password. Because I'm using the paper trading, so the trading mode is paper trading. If you want to trade live account, you can click and switch to live account. In this demo, I will choose paper trading. You don't need to check these two options. Just click log in.
it may take a while to start IBTWS at this moment. Okay, we just understand and accept. To, fun to config TWS for hybrid pad to get connected, you can close this as announcement and else. This is a typical TWS trading platform, look like. You can rearrange these windows as needed. For iBridge Pi to get connected, what you need to do is click File. Just one click. Go to Global Configuration. Click. And a window pop up. You should go to API on the left hand side, click and click settings. In this page, what you need to do is check enable ActiveX and socket clients. Uncheck read only API and change socket port number to 7496. That's all you need to set up. And then you can click OK and click OK to accept. That's all you need to do to config TWS. Then let's switch to Ibridge Pi. The main entrance of Ibridge Pi is Romy.py. I'm opening it in Spider IDE right now. What you need to do is to change account code to your IB account number. How to find out IB account number? Go to TWS and look for on the right upper side, there's DU. One eight six eight four ninety nine. This is the account code. It's not your login ID. One eighty six eighty four ninety nine. Yes. And then I want to run example show positions.py and then just click run. When you see iBridge Pi print out your account information, which means you have successfully run this, this Python file in iBridge Pi. Let's close TWS and switch to IB Gateway. At this moment, we can go to Spider to restart the kernel. Close this one, and let's switch to IB Gateway. Excuse me. Yeah. In IB Gateway, you need to switch to IB API. The username. Password. Same thing, paper trading instead of live trading. If you want to do live trading, you just switch to live trading. 
in this demo, my account is a paper account, so I choose paper trading right now. For others, you don't need to touch, just click login. Yeah, click accept. This is the typical looking of IB Gateway. It's lightweighted way to get connected to IB server. So that's all looks like. What do you need to do to get the iBridge pad to connect it is to click config, click settings, API, and settings. What you need to do is to change the socket port number 7496 if it's not in your case and uncheck read only API and that's all you need to config you can click OK then let's switch to iBridge Pi same thing I want to run the same file name and I just click run there then you should see exactly the same successful information in IPython console. Oh, one thing is don't forget to change your account code. If you are using IB Gateway, to find out the IP, your account code is to go to config, go to setting, then it show up here which is du18684.99 for my case right now and ibpi2020 is my login is not my account code so you need to put your account code in average pi to get connected thank you very much for any questions please send email to iBridgePy at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known Rent a Coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.